Be sure to check out FIFACoinsOnline.com for the best deals on FIFA coins from a place you know you can trust. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to another episode of FIFA 13 Ultimate Team Bargain Gems. I'm glad to have this back, I haven't done one of these in about 3 or 4 weeks and I always like to do them to show you guys some really cheap bargain players, even if they are relatively well known as Kone is. So as you can probably tell, today's bargain gem will be Aruna Kone and as always we're going to look at some real life stats, some in game stats and then we're going to go on some gameplay, so let's get started. So in terms of real actual stats, Aruna Kone is a striker, he is from the Ivory Coast, he plays for Wigan in the Barclays Premier League, he's around 5 foot 11 tall according to Foothead and he costs 850 coins on Xbox, maybe more or less on PS3. In terms of his in-game stats, he has 88 sprint speed, 86 acceleration, 84 shot power, 80 strength, 80 dribbling, 4 star weak foot and 4 star skill moves. And now as we're about to go into the gameplay, I'll explain a bit more about that because as you guys know, when I have strikers, I love to have strikers that have four star skill moves so that is one of the reasons why I absolutely love Kone for 850 coins I think he is easily the best prem striker in a lower uh, price range that's the word I couldn't think of what I was thinking for then but uh, yeah I'd actually compare him up there with like the top strikers like Aguero and Balotelli on FIFA on uh, as Premier League strikers so he is so so good he's 80 strength which is absolutely fantastic for a striker to be able to hold players off he's also got I believe 87 or 88 pace which included in that is his 90 sprint speed I believe it is so some of these stats are very very good for a striker even if you as well especially if you want to play him as a lone striker um I found that a lot of the time his heading was absolutely appalling. I'm not completely sure what his heading stats are, but even driven crosses and stuff, whipping the ball into his head, I missed more often than I even got it on target. Like More often than not, he would completely put it wide. That doesn't mean he didn't score any, because he did still get a couple in, but more often than not, he wouldn't actually be able to get it in. But the best part about Kone is his, uh, his speed and his finishing. And combined with the speed as well, his strength is also massive, because he has the, uh, the strength to be able to push players off whilst running past them and he did actually get a score ahead of there so fair enough but uh, the the normal finishing is absolutely fantastic just a simple like finesse it in or absolutely smash it he's got some really good shot power uh, more often than not I've said more often than not a lot in this uh, game in this video because a lot of the time he will just do a really simple finish like that and he'll be able to get it into the back of the net which is something you really massively want with your striker you don't want him wasting all your chances especially when it's a lone striker you're not going to get too many chances so you need to take as many as you can can, and you will find that he will usually actually take these for you, which is absolutely fantastic. Um and there are more examples there coming through of his brilliant finishing. So as well, he's got four-star skills, as I said, which again, I played him as a lone striker. And the more like different attributes that seem to be coming through for him, the better he's getting. The four-star skills is fantastic for a lone striker because it means you can like beat the defender and not have to worry about playing one-twos and stuff like that with the players around him. So that is another great thing about him. And here is a couple mm -hmm. little uh, volleys that he did manage to score. The volley on the last one and a sideways volley on that one. Although it was an open goal, it's still like he actually got into the positions needed and managed to still get the shot away which again is another thing that is absolutely brilliant for him is his positioning you'll find look at that sprint straight down the middle he knows exactly where you want the ball he if you rewind that a little bit and track that run he absolutely sprinted from the center midfield sort of role to try and get him uh, get to the ball which is absolutely fantastic and another final goal here just before we finish it off so Kone is absolutely amazing I would definitely recommend him in any Premier League formation with any set of strikers up top especially a one striker formation because he is absolutely brilliant so that is it for the end of this episode now guys if you could leave a like that'd be absolutely fantastic if you want to go and check out the latest upload to my second channel there's a link on the screen it's Winnie the Pooh's home run derby very funny stuff go subscribe to the second channel as well if you haven't already you can click the screen or you can click the link down below thanks again for watching this video guys leave a like if you could if we get to 350 likes that'd be amazing and I'll see you guys next time bye